Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new here, my name is Kelsey. This is me just trying to show off that I do have hair. Every time I try to wear like a cute little messy bun on camera, I always just look like I have no hair. So yeah, it is there. But anyways, basically today I'm going to be doing a collective try on haul. So let's just get started because I'm really excited. A lot of this stuff I actually just got yesterday. So this first piece that I have, I have no idea where it's from because as you can see the tag has been like cut off very, very well. But this shirt... Is this not really really cool okay so it's like this beautiful like white mesh with these flowers in it and then like this little like silky pink like outlining of the neckline you can layer this over literally anything or it's like a bathing suit cover-up this would be so cute as a bathing suit cover-up I just like it so much and I definitely have been loving like a lot of like mesh see-through pieces because I think it's fun to like layer sometimes summer apparel is a little bit boring it's just like shorts and tank tops all the time so when you can find cool pieces like this that are good for the summer it's always so nice to have to like get a little bit more fun with like the summer wardrobe well I don't want to get lip gloss on it there you go. But this dress, okay, does this not look exactly like a dress that you would see on some trendy Instagram fashion page that it would probably be like $300? Does it not? Like, look at the, it's kind of short. It's like a little midi dress. I always wear maxi dresses, so it's nice to have like a good mix. I was looking through my dresses yesterday and I'm like, I literally only wear long dresses. I have like no short dresses for like this summer. So I was like, I made it like my goal to get like a cute short little dress for the summer and this really did it. It's definitely very 90s feel with like this kind of neckline. Oh, it's just so pretty. I actually haven't tried this dress on yet so the first time I'm trying it on will be in the try on. So I'm really hoping this fits like as perfectly as I'm wanting it to but worst case scenario I'll just be belting it. Next thing that I got are these two blazers. I love blazers. I have such a big blazer collection but I feel like my printed blazers are a little lacking. I got this black one with like these sort of just white little dots all over it and they are a little bit oversized. The best place to find oversized blazers is the men's section but I don't think I found these at the men's section. No this is just a size 12 in women's. Throw this on right over your look with a pair of Levi's jeans and you look so good okay. I love this look. My favorite look. This one is brand new with tags which is really nice. It's from a brand called Sasco London New York also size 12 and it's just kind of like the exact same jacket but like opposite print. It's like a creamy white with black dots all over it and um, it's got some black buttons on it which is really nice sort of like a little contrast thing going on there and this one is actually I think big enough to wear is like a blazer dress which is really nice. They do well when you get them oversized. You can like belt it, put your stockings on, like black stockings and like knee high boots. Such a good look. I love that look. Button up blouses are a good thing that are so easy to find when you're thrifting. So I decided I just needed like a plain basic white button up top. I was looking through all my button up tops and I'm like they all have something crazy going on. Like I just don't have a simple white one. And then the one that I do, it's like either they have some weird cropping, some ruching, like a tie, a funky collar, like a print. And I pers specifically, that's really not a word. I really wanted one that had like this, <laughs> I'm really having trouble with my sentences right now. I really wanted one with this starchy, thicker fabric texture. Yeah, okay. And next. Ugh, sweatpants exposed. Next, <laughs> that just made me think. I saw this tweet that somebody was like, oh, uh, beauty gurus love having their personality trait be that they secretly wear sweatpants off camera. And that just like really hurt me. After I read that, I was like, I've done that so many times in videos. That's so sad. Anyways, the next thing I got is this sweater. This sweater is really cute, but I do have a funny backstory on why I bought it. While I was with my mom, we were gonna go to this like nice seafood place afterwards to get dinner, and I was wearing like a white top, kind of like this, but it was like button up, and I had like stained it with matcha. So I was like, crap, like I tried washing it out, but I didn't have any water. All I had was a Mario Badescu rose water spray in my glove box, so it wasn't coming out. So at the Goodwill, I was like, how about I'll just buy a replacement top to wear? And this is what I got. So it's like another just button up sweater, and I love the gold buttons. Very like granny chic librarian cute <laughs> that's that's my typical everyday look I cannot believe I forgot literally some of the best pieces okay so basically they're designer pieces that I've thrifted that I'm really excited to talk about well most uh, some of these are from the consignment store so these are were consigned Louis Vuitton heels look at these look at these gorgeous babies are you kidding me right now 
and I got these when I was in New York for fashion week. Ugh, the shopping in New York. I really wanna go to New York right now. Okay, the next thing I got, this one I actually got at a flea market near me. It's a Christian Dior monogrammed umbrella and it is brown, let me show you where it says. Christian Dior, like, so, so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's just gorgeous. I can't wait to like go to Paris in the rain. Oh my God, that just hits so different. <laughs> Going to Paris in the rain with my little Dior umbrella, with my little granny library outfit. I'm so happy I bought this. The first thing I thought about was like, I need to go to Paris when it's raining. Like I need to schedule it just when it's raining so I can bust out the Dior umbrella, like be on the, be on the same. You know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh. So these ones I got in a consignment shop in Copenhagen. That was one of the first things that we were told by like a lot of you guys actually was like the vintage consignment like designer shops are insane in Copenhagen. So we got suggested a few of them and the most suggested one that was like, oh my gosh, it was so nice. It's in this little like downstairs area. I think it's called Magnolia, but I got these there. They were such an insanely good price. So they have a little like CC on the back here and I don't know if you can see like the little hoops where the shoe, I don't know what they're called, where the shoelaces go in. They're pearled. Is that not so pretty? They have the leather sort of tip. They're high tops, which is different for me because I never really wear high tops. They have a little anchor in the back, which is so, so cute. Came with the duster bag and I love these. I haven't worn them yet. I need like the perfect outfit to like put them on IG. This one is another vintage piece that I thrifted. It is just this um, really cool jacket. I love this sort of, oh, what is it called? Quilted. I bought this because of its, it's quilted. It took me like 30 minutes just to remember the word quilted, but it definitely reminded me of all the quilted pieces Bottega Veneta is doing right now, especially with like the shoes. I love it. It's so cool. And I thought this was really pretty. It's cream. It's got like the matching buttons with like the black contrast stitching and it's a little bit oversized and it's just so fun. The first of the last three things that I have is this bag, which is really cool. Like it kind of looked like a designer bag to me, but like with this little like print, I don't, it kind of, oh, Celine, the old Celine bags, I actually have one. If I can find a picture, I'll put it side by side. But the print like definitely caught me from like a distance. And I was like, ooh, let me see what that is. Cause I get lucky with a lot of like vintage designer bags. Cause where I live, like nobody seems to know what anything is. But then I saw this like little logo on the front and I'm like, who is the logo is that? Like, I don't recall this at all. And it has no tag at all. It just says made in Italy but there's like no designer name anywhere. So I have no idea what this bag is, but it's really, really pretty. I love this like suede brown with like the nude leather and like the gold details. Very, very pretty. So I just decided to get it just as like a fun little bag. Like I love printed bags like this sometimes, a little bit different than like classics, but sometimes it's fun to have like your bag be like the statement, especially with basic looks like if I'm just wearing like a white top, some jeans, this can like completely take your look to a whole new level. Then we have two little tank tops. I have this tank top, which I thought was very fun. Very like summer in the city, just, I don't know. It was a cool tank top. Definitely, like I said before, like summer fashion can sometimes be a little boring. So anytime I can find a little bit of a, like an out there piece that can be worn in the summer, I definitely like to get. Um, so it's just this really nice ribbed black tank top with this fun little neckline and strap. Then this top, of course, so beautiful. This white silky cowl neck tank top. I cannot wait to wear this. It's so, so pretty. I love anything cowl necked right now. I think it's so flattering and it's so pretty and it just looks so expensive and the silky fabric. Love it. This tank top was perfect. Okay, and that is everything that I have for this collective try on haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope this maybe gave you some like inspo for shopping, for what to shop for for the next coming up season and how to style it. And I hope that you guys love this video. If you want to see more like vintage related videos and fashion related videos, make sure to give this video a thumbs up to let me know that you liked it. And also make sure to subscribe to my channel. I post two videos a week, one every Friday and vlogs every Tuesday. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.